All right, you've seen me do this before. I've got this. What is going on with this guy? He's always tinkering on something, but it's jibber jabber. It's enough jibber jabber. Tinkering guy. My goodness, where did I, where did I set this? We gotta get a. Jeez, come on, man. Anyway, now that's Dawson's Tinker Shack. You guys ought to check him out. All right, so I have got my line drawn. And I'm going to pull this off. And as you know, I'm going to come in about one inch, three quarter minimum, but uh, one inch, redraw it. Then I'm not going to do this because that can change. It shouldn't, but it can. And I'm not cutting that stuff out because that often does change. Then I'm gonna take my jigsaw and I'm gonna cut the whole thing out. It is so, so, so hot. Yeah, I know you're tired of hearing me complain, but anyway, 1975, Scotty. Um, we are going to uh, cut this out, flip them over, and then we're gonna stain them the same as we did the interior, that Scotsman. So, uh, you don't need to watch me cut this out. You've seen me do it a million times before. And, okay, I can't, why am I exaggerating so much lately? You've seen me do this many times before. Well, basically every camper that's come in here. And uh, once I get the cool stain on this, I'll bring you back. It is a beautiful morning here at World Headquarters. It's a little reasonably temperature-wise cool this morning. It's going to be close to 100 today, 103 tomorrow, and then it's going to start tapering off into 99, 98, so great. Um, so got an, getting an early start, and we got that put down. You saw that. It looks great. We have our walls done, and that grain is stupendous, I tell you. Then I made the front and back wall, ceiling wall, wall ceiling. I got those done. I did not get them stained. I'm going to stain those, and I also have made that piece that uh, goes across here. I'm going to stain that ahead of time. That's on the list of things to do today. First thing this morning... We're going to check these wheel bearings, get them packed, uh, get the tires off, and get this thing set where it's going to go. Problem, I still have to put the lawnmower inside, and it takes a fair amount of room. So I've got to get this set where it's going to stay. It's got to have a little angle for the mower to come in and park, um, a lot of this will be going away soon, so I'll have more room over here. But I got to be able to work. Really, we're down after I put the walls on today. Of course, we're putting the walls on today. Um, and once we get that done, <sighs> but I've when I take the wheels off for the just. Thinking out loud here, I should have done a better job and had my day planned out better. But I know repacking the bearings. But once I take the wheels off, the wheels stay off. <sighs> so I have to get it set and I've got to get it leveled. And as you know, once we finish this front, we put that front wall on. And we don't necessarily hit the door yet. So we've got to leave the back end open with enough room to come around and inside and finish building. We've got to give ourselves that room. And there's the Frigidaire. He's going to go with black on the inside here. I could probably find a better place to store that. I can get the Wilson art up and out of the way. So we've got, we just got some shuffling to do. You know, and we've got, you know, all of the stuff out of the Scotsman. And the Scotsman's sitting there proud as can be. I, you know, I save all of my wood scraps and I burn them in the winter. You know, to stay warm. And that's getting in the way. I, I've got to find a better place for that. Then I think I'll have plenty of room. Ah, too many projects. 
More campers, more problems. All right, so to recap, pack the bearings. Put up the walls after we get everything leveled. We're going to stain that and somewhere in here. There, it's right there. No, nope, that's not it. Somewhere in there is our piece that goes across the front here. And once we get that laid down, after it gets stained, uh, then we can build, oh, potty closet, front kitchen, totally different. Now he's going with a wider potty closet. Instead of 22 inches, he wants every bit of 30 if he can get it. So it's gonna, it's gonna be different. It's going to be different. All right, I'm gonna get started on if something cool happens that you don't normally see anyway, I will I will keep you updated. I told you I'd keep you up to date. How about that? Antique walnut. That's a nice color. Nice little contrast there. There to there, I like it. I like the contrast. We did get the uh, bearings repacked on both sides. I'm like that, you know. <sighs> it's looking good, looking good. It's only it's only been two hours, so got a lot done in those two hours. I've got to make some decisions now. I think I may. While it's still reasonable out, I think I will pull that piece out and stain it and stain these two to get me going. And really, at that point, I have to build this front kitchen or frame, frame in the front kitchen slash potty closet, at least get it taped out. So we are moving ahead of schedule. Well, we're probably about two hours behind schedule because of the heat trying to do six hours minimum a day uh, so as long as it's nice i'm going to just keep rocking here and uh get started on this front kitchen let me catch you up here is the front of the roof front wall it's looking great it's got some uh it's got some interest in it but most of it's going to be, really, almost all of it's going to be covered up, either by a window, the potty closet, or the uh, front kitchen. There is the back wall slash ceiling. And most of it is going to be covered up by the bed and the window, but we still did it. And I went ahead and I put the stain on there because, you know, when you're building dinettes, you need to have it stained because it's visible. We're not building. Dinette, man, these front kitchens get on my mind. So this wouldn't even have to have been finished because you'll never see it. But it is finished, so it's beautiful. No extra charge to the customer. And then while I was down there, I added the bottom pieces and then I went with the aluminum because this customer wants aluminum. They want the the mill finish for most of the exterior of his camper, which I applaud him for. Uh, it's almost a bold choice for a 75, but I think it's going to be a good choice. I think he's really going to be happy with it when it gets done. We're going to do a, well, you know, we're going to do the regular stripe, a little darker color up top. All right. I, I guess next step, if I'm looking at it right, next step is to frame in the extra sized uh potty closet and then the kitchen and look and see the window because uh we're not putting this big long window in the front anymore because you know you can be looking out the window here in your kitchen and then you know half of it's hanging out over your bathroom that's just awkward i seen scotty do that before i think it's awkward so what we do have is right Oh, great camera work. You're always stopping by. Is this window right here. So, let's just look at it. You know, I haven't even taken the time to do this. Let's do it. We'll do it together. Okay. So, he really wants to come out 30. 
So it's gonna be right at this little knot. So we'll keep that in mind. So if it stops at that knot, and this is the middle of the camper, that gives us about 10, oh, that's terrible, I'm so sorry. That gives us about 10 and a half inches. So how wide is this? 25. So we really need 12 and a half on each side. So if we, if that's the center, we come over to 12 and a half, that's gonna be about right there. Yeah, like my finger is a pencil. Oh goodness, sorry people. So that, that would still give us about a 27 and a half inch potty closet. He wanted at least, I think he said 28. So we're just gonna hit the 30 and then we're just gonna have to offset this. Well, but also, well now, hold on boys, hold on. Let's not get jumpy because there is that. That lip does not take out of this. So what do we got here? About three quarters, that's an inch and a half. That's gonna put us real, real close, real close to center. It's, uh, yeah. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. We'll get real close on it. I'm glad we did that together. Uh, yeah. All right. Enough of this. Let's get busy. Not sure how long it's been since we've discussed this, but this is a man-sized potty closet. We haven't talked about that before, but making this, you gotta catch this curve right here because it's gonna be right here, right out for everybody to see it. So what I do is I took a full 48 inch sheet and I'm gonna have to add on, but that's easy to do because the door is gonna be cut out. So I tape it right here. Then I'm gonna take this marker and I'm going to trace that. So it's gotta be exact, right? That's the easiest way to catch this curve right here. And then I'll just take my jigsaw right here. Hit it twice. And then I can start building it out. I can frame it out and then get that set. And once I've got that set, and I'm, I made my marks. You know how I do with the tape back there. I was marking out the bed and 54-inch beds. This, this, I'm telling you what. You met John. John is here for the comfort. He's not here for a long time. He's here for a good time. For a long time, really. Nice guy. Anyway, there's my potty. I want to know where my potty closet's going to go to. And then I map this out. We're going to be really close on that window. So it's going to look good now that I've got it mapped out. So I'm just going to trace this, cut it, and then start building it so that I can get that set so that I can start framing out the front kitchen. <laughs> 